Well, morning. This is Joe. Let's lock it up, and we're out here for another walk this morning with Oakley. <laughs> Uh, how's your schedule? Do you do, you know, Monday through Friday, you know, alternate days? Kind of interesting to see that, you know, the more I look into businesses and the more I see them run, everyone's schedule is just so different than just a typical nine to five, uh, especially as business owners. <sighs> I think it's just every day, every hour counts for us. But yeah, just another beautiful morning. One little thing I was thinking about was, you know, technology is always promised to make our lives easier. I feel like, you know, this is, we're the first generation, first series of man that has to deal with technology in its current condition. It's gotta be challenging. Challenging not just for anybody. I mean, it's gotta be challenging for everybody. Some people pick it up a lot easier than others. But you still gotta think, like, you know, when was the car first made? Not that long ago. The first cell phone made? Not that long ago. First smartphone made? Not that long ago. You know, we're in this time of human history where this technology has really been available to us. And you know, where it stops, I don't know. To what purpose and to what end, I don't know. But, you know, it's like, if you're not integrated in technology you're gonna seem foreign to people who do have it all the time and do access it all the time and use it all the time and even yesterday we had a uh, power outage at my house and i'm like thinking it's like you know what great now i got 90 percent of the stuff i own doesn't work which kind of that made me go hmm not good not ideal you know you know, technology, as good as some of its applications are, they're only as useful as if you have electricity. If you have no electricity, you have no way of using it. So if you own a home, power goes out. Like, we have solar, but we're hooked up to the grid. We didn't get the battery pack or nothing like that because it was just really, really expensive. And so, you know, even if my solar goes, or if my power goes out, my solar doesn't go to my house so I can use it, it goes straight back into the grid. And so, you know, yeah, I would like to have the battery packs so that way if the battery or if the power goes out, I can run off my battery, that'd be great. But, you know, we got all these gadgets and things, and things that are supposed to make our life easier, but, you know, does, does it truly is the question, you know, if you have to spend a thousand dollars to buy something that's supposed to make your life easier what's what's the return you know how much time is it saving you for per day per week per month per year so is it worth the investment you know is it worth the you know if it's hard for you to make enough money to buy it you know is it worth that purchase is it going to serve you well is it going to make your life easier and so, you know, as technology progresses, I really wish the quality would also be there as well. I feel like they're kind of they're kind of rushing things. They're kind of being hasty and wasteful. You know, they could do a lot better of a job, but they have to be. I get it. It's a competitive market. You know, we got everyone competing for technology, but no one's really competing for quality and the people that do compete for quality are the people I work, try to work for. You know, the small business owners that produce a quality product that's worth its value because what you're gonna get is 10 times better than what the main companies can make. You know, the main companies can't afford to slow down. They can't afford to build a higher quality product because they got so many things to move and do and all that is just not gonna work for them. But I mean, look at all the companies that do produce higher quality products don't tell me they don't have a line out the door and a waiting list to boot 
So, you know, don't be afraid to go with a quality product. It might cost a little more, sure, but ideally, with the right product, that's going to suit you better over time. And so, back to technology, you know, I think we live in a point now where we can literally almost make anything, anytime, anywhere. You know, just think of it, there's a company out there making it, will it be the highest of quality? I can't guarantee, but you can for sure get it. Sometimes, you know, next day shipping. And that's the other thing too, is how crazy the shipping world has changed over the past, I don't know, let's say 15 years, you know? It wasn't until Amazon kind of put in the two day shipping is that's when things really started amping up for Amazon. You know, it's just being busy 24 seven. Did they create their own monster? Maybe, you know, are they making a lot of money? Yeah. But when you put that kind of pressure on yourself, yeah, you'll make your competitors look bad for sure if they can't keep up. And a lot of companies didn't. I mean, we can go down a list of companies that weren't able to keep up with technology and changes and being able to push the envelope. And I think that's a lot of these companies that go under is they just didn't want to spend the money or the time or the effort to grow. So they got pinched out. They got, they failed because they weren't willing to adapt. Now, failing to adapt, it's kind of an interesting, if, if your product's good enough and if you don't have to do what everyone else wants because you know, you're rock solid and what you do is great, then sometimes you can get by. Maybe you improve a little bit. Maybe you don't have to do the full, the full uh, adjustment. But as a company, you should be trying to figure out how to stay on top or how to best use what's going on in you know modern times to stay competitive. But for me, when I help companies, my biggest focus is save time and energy. You know, as a business owner, if you got a small team, you can't do everything. And I understand that. And that's what I try to help. You know, try to send you ideas on how to improve your process. Let's say, you know, something's taking you an hour to do. Maybe there's something out there that we can start using that takes it down to 15 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes. That's good for you. That saves you all that time and all that energy. That's what I'm about. Now, I don't want to give you something that's cheap, you know? If we can get away with something cheap, great. But if we can't, then let's try to find the good quality choice that's gonna make your life a little bit easier. And I think that would be beneficial to a lot of companies that are even starting out or doing it on your own. That's what I'm here for, is to help you, you know, come up with new ideas and make your life a little bit easier. So, if you ever want, you can go, always go to uh, business-locksmith.com and find out. Sign up, and we can always talk. I mainly serve the uh, Waco area, but, you know, depending on who you are and what you do, I may adjust accordingly. But I try to find this time right now to talk and kind of tell you about what I do, business-wise. Uh, Life-wise, I don't know, just trying to enjoy life. Like I said, I feel like there's so much going on. Let's go in this road. This looks pretty. You know, I feel like there's so much going on with modern times. And it's just like, how can there be this much drama? Like, who, who, who's causing all this? Like, shouldn't life be a little bit easier? We have all this technology that make life easy and simple and effective. And somehow people are ruining that. <laughs> you know, you know, I do photography and that's something I truly enjoy. And so I might just, you know, lean into that for a little bit more than the consulting because, you know, maybe not everyone needs consulting. 
maybe not everyone understands the value of consulting and so that's what I have to show but photography it's you know it shows itself you know you have a beautiful photo of your product or your friends or family or event that you're at and it's you know it's magical it's fun you know and now with you know social media and how easy it is to post and show everyone sure there's a big ocean of photos but you know are you showing your product off or your company off and so that's what i'm here to do you know i'm here to you know kind of be that first step towards showing what your company does or what your product is so that way even though there's a vast ocean i'm sure there are still thousands and thousands of people that are interested in what you do so that's what i want to show i want to help show what do you do what is your service what is your product so if you ever want to do some photos let me know let me know yep same place business-locksmith.com and also you can follow me on facebook and instagram if you want to see what kind of photos i do but yeah don't get so caught up in all of the technology there's plenty of it i don't think it's going anywhere <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us again as we went on our walks with Oakley. Oakley had a great time. I had a great time. It was a beautiful morning. Uh, glad we could kind of barely scratch the surface on my thoughts about technology and how it has changed our lives and how we're the first to deal with these technologies. So, yeah, let's talk more next time. But y'all take care.